Have a look at this graph. This is exactly how I'm able to consistently lose 30 pounds in just 90 days. That's 13 kilos in just 13 weeks. One kilogram each week. The best part about this is that I'm a lifetime natural, just like you, which means there's zero excuses as to why you can't achieve the same exact results. This is your no BS guide to losing fat fast. Let's go back to that graph. On screen are the exact non-active calories I burn each day, represented with the color green. These are basically the calories that you need in order to live on a day-to-day -day basis. Literally the minimum caloric intake you need in order to survive. Let's assume on one entire day, you did nothing but lay in bed, feed up, completely sanitary. Therefore, these are also the minimum calories in order to maintain your current physique. Then we have my calories burnt by exercising. This is shown in the color red. These are basically additional calories that your body burns through any and all exercises. This includes cardio, weightlifting, resistance training, sports, literally any exercise whatsoever that is classified active calories. The total calories I burnt can be seen with the blue line. This is your non-active plus your active calories. So essentially, the calories that you need in order to survive and maintain your body, plus the accumulated calories that you've burnt through any exercise. And finally, the food I ate, my nutrition, represented with the color yellow. This line must be below your total calories burnt if you want to lose weight, if you want to lose fat. And the opposite applies too. If you want to gain weight, this line must be above your total calories burnt. There is no exception. Literally the principles of calories in versus calories out. Caloric deficit, caloric surplus. There you go. You've just learned the basic fundamentals of weight loss and the straightforward visual answer as to how I lost 30 pounds in just 90 days and how you can as well. However, there are some additional things that I need to mention. Let's go back to the graph. You would have noticed a period in the very beginning where I was eating more calories than I was burning. This is a 14 day period where you gradually transition from eating anything and everything, slowly implementing changes day by day until you cross over into a caloric deficit. So basically, when that line drops below your total calories burnt, going from zero to 100 like anything in life is not sustainable, it is not the way to go, you will not see sustainable progress in the long term. You will see an immediate drop in the short term, but if you want sustainable fat loss, then this is the approach that you must be taking. Because even in those first initial two weeks, you're gonna be dropping weight regardless through water and through glycogen, so your carbohydrate stores. So irrespective of being below that threshold when it comes to your total calories burnt, you will be losing weight in those initial two weeks, 14 days. One more thing on this graph. Personally, I use a gradual decline in my calories and a gradual increase in my training to accelerate the rate at which I want to lose weight. Another option would be incorporating more cardio or eating less food. So you have two options there. The majority of people just incorporate more cardio. They don't make any changes to their food. They don't make any changes to their weightlifting routine. They don't even implement a weightlifting routine. So you can clearly see there are three main methods to accomplish weight loss, to accomplish a caloric deficit through cardio, through nutrition, and through weightlifting. For me personally, weightlifting burns more calories than cardio, always, consistently. That's because the intensity that I apply 
during my weightlifting sessions are more intense and more consistent than my cardio sessions, even though I'm consistently walking on the treadmill at the same pace. Diet alone, however, isn't the be all or end all. I'm gonna show you something that's gonna literally make your jaw drop. We can see that if we remove exercise altogether, instead of me taking two weeks to gradually enter a caloric deficit, so enter the phase at which I'm losing fat and losing weight, it would have taken nine and a half weeks instead. Yes, you could eat a lot less calories sooner rather than later in order to drop below that caloric threshold that I keep mentioning, but keep in mind, we need this entire process to be sustainable and enjoyable. Starving yourself clearly is not enjoyable nor sustainable. You're gonna quit sooner than you think if you take that approach. So therefore, what are the conclusions that we can draw from looking at this graph? We can first and foremost see that the most effective method for fat loss is a combination of cardio, weightlifting, and nutrition. The most effective method for sustainable and enjoyable progress is giving yourself a two week period where you gradually make the transition from where you are now, crossing over into that caloric deficit. Then gradually incorporate more intense workouts, gradually incorporate longer cardio sessions, and make smarter choices when it comes to your nutrition. No alcohol, whole foods, fruits, veggies, more complex carbohydrates, no discretionary choices, no junk food, the list goes on. When it comes to your cardio, just stick to slow, steady state cardio. HIIT training is not necessary in order to achieve these results that I was able to accomplish. I didn't perform any HIIT training. All I did was incorporate the treadmill on top of my weightlifting sessions in order to achieve the active calorie results that I was able to achieve. When it comes to your weightlifting sessions, the minimum weightlifting sessions that I would recommend is three weightlifting sessions per week between 45 minutes and one hour and 15 minutes. For me to accomplish these results, I was consistently incorporating five weightlifting sessions per week between 45 minutes and one hour and 15 minutes. My cardiovascular endurance was on top of these weightlifting sessions. Always after my weightlifting sessions, if I was scheduling both on the same day and on my full rest days, I would also incorporate active cardio. The total amount of active cardio sessions that I performed each week was no more than three. And I started on only 20 minutes, slowly increasing my cardio for a maximum of one hour cardio sessions. That was towards the end of the 90 day period where you can see the insane difference between my calories consumed and calories burned. Find what works for you, slowly implement and make changes, then I guarantee you will see effective, fast fat loss. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your no BS guide to achieving fat loss fast. I hope you learned something. If you did learn something, please consider dropping me a like, subscribing to the channel, commenting below what you would like to see next, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.